Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning sir. sir. So, we will all stand for the prayer. Who can do the prayer? Okay. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, the student will be able to identify the natural resources found in the Philippines based on the video presentation. Next, explain the effect of some human activities on the natural resources using the situation given. The last one is participate and give their insights on, on way to reduce effect of human activities through class discussion. So, to start a new lesson, I'm going to show you a video with the beautiful and splendor of the Philippines. So, just sit back, relax, and let me take you a tour around the Philippine archipelago. Okay? Wow. Okay. So we were able to explore no more. We were able to see 
uh, how rich our natural resources in the Philippine archipelago may be in non-resources or water resources. Yeah. Yes, very good. Yes. Okay, our country is bountiful in natural resources, starting from a very physical features down to diverse plants and animal form. So, yeah. talking about how lucky we are in the Philippines to such thing, what can we associate with the word resources? Yes, Miss or both? These are the things that are available around, around us, which can be used different purposes. Yes, very good. How about another idea? Yes, Miss Ilja. Resources are things that are real than I mean. Resources are things that can be used to support, help, or draw on we need. Yes, based on your answer, we can define things, we can define resources as things used by people in order to survive or satisfy needs. So can you give the examples of resources? Yes, please. Our examples are air, water, plants, animals, soil, rocks, minerals, food oil, and other forms of use, such like meat, car, house, clothes, jewelry, money, etc. Yes, very good. Examples of resources are air, water, plants, water, animals, and many more. Resources such as air, water, animals, rock, and soil are considered natural resources because they are available to reduce our nature. So, now since we're talking about resources, Philippines as an archipelago is considered rich in natural resources. So let's name out the natural resources we have in our country. So we are lucky the persons we are lucky in the persons of water forms. So what are these water forms? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yes, please. So these are the bays, river, lakes, boats, gulfs, straits, swamps, and streams. Very good. Water forms are bays, rivers, lakes, gulf, streets, swamps, and springs. These are some examples of water forms. So what is the importance of water forms? Yes? Uh, this body of water supports the survival of uh, diverse organisms for food as well as um, economic activities. Very good. The presence of water in a specific environment is said to be accountable for supporting high biodiversity in that area. So biodiversity means the presence of various plants and animals, animal life in particular area. So. Are you need some plants that you know that you can find in our country? Yes, Donna. Karakito. Very good. Horse. Yes, very good. Rice crops. Very good. Nara. Very good. Sweet. Yes. No. Go. Uh, very good. Corns. <laughs> Rose. Very good. So those species that you all mentioned are all common. Since our country is rich in biodiversity class, the Philippines is considered the home of endemic species. So when, when we say endemic species, these are species which can be found only in a certain area and not in other places. So can you name some endemic species we have that exist in the Philippines? Tamarau, Tarshir, and Mosteer. Yes, very good. So we have Tamarau, Tarshir, and Mouse Deer. So where we can find them? But Tamarau in Mindoro. Very good. So, Tarshir in Bohol, Tamara in Mindoro, and Mouse there in Palawan. So, aside from that, we also have mineral deposits in our country. So, what mineral deposits that you know? Yes, Mr. Sure, Ma? Um, gold, copper, chromite, iron, manganese, nickel, sand, and flamestone. Marble, clay, and so yeah. And yes, very good. We have gold, copper, chromite, iron, manganese, nickel, sand, limestone, marble, clay, and silica. So the Philippine deposits are classified as either metallic or non-metallic. So gold, copper, chromite, iron, and manganese, and nickel are some of the metallic minerals we have in our country. Well, sand, limestone, marble, and clay, and silica are some examples of non-metallic minerals. So, where are these minerals 
dislocated or debound. Yes, Miss Francisca. Some are found near volcanoes, rocks, and near rivers, beaches. Yes, very good. So where do we usually use metals? Yes, Mr. Manata. We use metals in soft drinks industry at home, in school, farm, and other places. Very good. Mineral deposits can be found here in book where volcanoes and trenches are present. We have many volcanoes here in our country. Most of them are active. So can you name some famous volcanoes we have? Yes. Mayan volcano. What else? Mahalo. Very good. So is it good? Yes. Because of the various volcanoes we have in our country, Philippine Ace belongs to the Pacific Ring of Fire. Fire. Very good. So aside from that, we also have energy resources in our country. So what energy resources that you know? Yes. So we have solar energy, geothermal energy, hydrothermal energy, and wind energy and natural gas. Very good. We have solar energy, geothermal energy, hydrothermal energy, wind energy, and natural gas. So, do we have examples of this energy in our place? Hydrothermal energy. Very good. So, so we already familiarized ourselves with the natural resources we have in our country. Today, I'm going, we're going to brainstorm ourselves and how we will destroy our natural resources. Now, I want everybody to group themselves into two. You choose a partner. Two partners. 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 In the front of the left or right corner, group two will stay there in the left. Group four will stay there. So two. And group three will stay. Now group three will stay four. Okay, so group four. Okay, class. This is to my instruction. I was showing you an illustration of some. Uh, certain situation or activities. We're going to write down the effects and how people destroy our natural resources. So, take note in your group number because each group has their own assigned situation. So, first, I'm, going, I'm giving you this one paper and a marker. And the one paper, there is a human activities and the second follow-up is the effects. So, you're going to write down the effects on the paper. So after that, we're going to perform here in front of the class. And you're going to discuss the human activities and its effect. So let's do this in 10 minutes. Thank you. 
So our report is going to a paper is rice spelled into commercial centers. The advantages of the advantage the advantage of our effects. <laughs> <laughs> Advantage and develop the economy through labor and employment. And then the second thing, the second thing is it causes other population, pollution in water, air, <laughs> the dumping of all waste, it also causes less production of rice and other than the other occupation of the local farmers. So, can I ask you some questions? Yes. Okay, so from your advantages and disadvantages, um, I'm going to ask you this question now, so in which all of us can reflect. So, um, would you rather choose um, changing our rice fields into um, many buildings or converting our rice fields over um, forest into an urbanized um, world like, like, yeah, we have malls, we you, you build malls and other um, infrastructures from that particular place. Would you consider that? So that you can have like you know developed economy or um, um, hold more employment, or would you rather choose to like stay from that particular place and do not change anything since it is um, very convenient for all of us? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your wonderful question, Miss Mother. I would choose place place to discuss um, my father's apartment, and that's our. Resource for the movement, income resource, we have to explore. Well, we haven't choose the rice fields because we are not the one, but we are oh, belongs to the supplier of the rice. So if we convert that, we don't have any income. rice to supply to other countries or provinces. Okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I have a question. Yes. yes. <laughs> You choose rice field because um, we are Philippines is a biggest exporter, yes. right? For the no, the for the rice. Yes. So why Philippines is still um, the poorest among the poor if we are the one who um, export rice fields? If you ano um something like overwhelming poor to one kita na yes. Yeah. Malawa, mawawala yung 
provide us more food. So, mag-degrade sa mga ilang supply nila. And then, the next thing is global warming. Global warming. So, same versus sa El Nino. The decline in life quality of people. Why? Because, wala na ako. I mean, pag wala kasi yung gubat, di ba? It can provide us oxygen to help us breathe. Or help us healthy. So, kung wala na yung of course, it can provide more
What is the program that you have? What is the specific purpose of your life? Oh, okay. Okay, sir. So, how are you? Very good. Are you done? Yes. 
Amen. Amen. Okay, Goodbye, class.